Hi guys, welcome to another Company Heroes 2 video with Helping Hands. In this video, we'll be talking about a brand new commander, the Grand Offensive Doctrine for the OKW. And I will discuss each new unit and ability uh, within that commander, and then also then go, go on to explain how to use these abilities and units uh, effectively in Company of Heroes 2. Okay guys, so here we go. This is the new OKW commander roster here in front of you. Let us go into detail. Let's start with the first ability, the Panzer Fusiliers. The Panzer Fusiliers used to cost two CPs, now they do not. You can now call them in straight away from your HQ. However, you have, they have a build time now, so there we go. However, I am using a cheat mod right now so that I can make units instantly. So there's two upgrades now for the Panzer Fusiliers. They can upgrade to G43s with 90 munitions, or they can upgrade for two Panzer Shreks for 100 munitions. Once you upgrade them with the G40, um, G43s, like so, they now have access to the 6th man, which you now can reinforce back up to full strength. And they also retain the ability of anti-tank rifle grenade and throw model grenade, as well as their um, Legacy 5 ability sprint and the flare ability as well, to give yourself a good idea where to maybe drop a Stuka bombardment and give yourself vision of enemy movement. Um, then we upgrade to Shreks, they stay as a 5-man squad. But obviously they now have Shreks, which makes them good against uh, tanks, but they do lose their ability to snare. Okay, so they don't become that versatile. Moving on, uh, we now also have the Stuka Bombs, like so. Same ability as before in other commanders, good ability, plane comes in, drops smoke bombs, which can be really good to save maybe your own vehicle from getting killed or your own infantry from getting killed, or use it to attack an enemy position. Uh, we'll go into detail later on in how to use it correctly. Um, the third ability is the passive infrared SDG upgrade that you can get on your Obers. So we already know about that. Once you build your Obers, you get your Schwer out, you can upgrade them for 60 munitions to get the SDGs on your Obers. They get two of these SDGs and that makes them good at good, good close range and they also can um, spot camouflage infantry quite well with these SDG upgrades. The next ability is the Panzer Commander ability, which we've seen before as well. This ability gives um, increased line of sight and increases accuracy on um, the vehicle that's upgraded on. The Panzer Commander ability also gives access once you upgrade it on a tank with coordinated barrage ability. So for 80 missions, you can use this ability to drop artillery on enemy positions. This is very good against something like an enemy howitzer that can't move uh, or like a uh, like machine guns that take a while to set up. So the artillery comes down, 80 missions, and will practically destroy whatever, uh, you know, probably used against infantry this, but um, it will damage tech vehicles as well. But it is a good, you know, quite a cheap ability for 80 munitions to drop some nice RT down, especially with a tank as well, because it's like a tank with a Tiger tank with the ability on, it'll be a lot easier to be able to do this ability because it's got a lot of health. It can get in there, drop the RT, and then pull back and should have enough health to get away. Uh, unlike doing you know, something like with a Panzer IV, which is a lot easier to, 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 to get killed, right? And then the new ability, the new unit rather, is the new Tiger. So this is a OKW Tiger, which can go up to veterans C4 and 5, unlike the Austere Tiger. Um, and it's incredibly powerful, and, and it also has the ability, the Command Tiger crew, once they get to veterans C4 and 5, they can um, utilize Combat Blitz. And here in veterans C1, they have uh, the ability to sacrifice their combat performance to improve infantry around them to make them a bit more uh, powerful uh, when they fight. And we'll go into detail later on in the video, you know, just showing how much more damage they would do with this ability activated compared to it not being activated. So the Tiger costs 640 manpower and 230 fuel and can be called onto the battlefield once you have your Schwer Panzer Headquarters built. So you can do this either by going Battle Trooper Headquarters into your Schwer, or you're mechanized into your Schwer, and then once you have your Schwer built, you can then call on your Tiger. It doesn't require any CP requirement. So as long as you have these things built, you can just call it on straight away as long as you have enough resources and obviously the Schwer built. I'd also like to point out that instead of the Tiger, you still have access to the normal King Tiger um, you can call on as well if you decide that you prefer this unit instead of the Tiger. But remember, you can only have one of these on the field at any one time. So remember the King Tiger, you need all three of these structures, your Battle Grouper, your Schwer, and your Mechanized build before you can buy and call on the King Tiger. So let's now move on to using these units and abilities in-game. So let's discuss why would you choose Pan's views it is over Volks Grenadiers and vice versa. So Panzer Fusiliers cost 280 manpower, and Volks cost 250 manpower. Panzer Fusiliers scale a little bit late game, but in the early game, they struggle a lot. In the early game, they're only 
it's really good because they have the anti-tank rifle grenade because it allows them, unlike the Volks, to snare like a M3 scout car from the Soviets or a Bren gun carrier from the Brits and also the WC-51 for the Americans if the American player was to get that out. So, whereas the Volks Grenadiers can't fan the Faust just yet until they have access to uh, a tech structure. Until battle group's built, until until mechanized built, they can't Faust. Panzerfuses can straight away, as long as you have the munitions for it. So, now guys, I'm going to show you how to use Panzerfuses, both with the G43s and the Shreks together, to take on adverse situations. So, here we have two... Plans to use this squad, one with G43s and one with Shreks. Here's a T70, so first things first, we want to like come around the corner here from this side to get the T70 to shoot me in the front. I also want to snare this T70 so he can't get away, and use the Shreks to shoot in the rear of this unit. Put the snare off, duck back behind green cover. Now, even if you try to reverse, it couldn't get away, and use the Shreks continuously in the rear of the vehicle to take it out. That's one way to take down a T70 while using your Panzer Fusiliers. Next, we have ourselves a T-34. So again, what we want to do here is we want to let the Shreks to get the first shot in before we snare. Because if we snared it before um, we got the damage in, we won't actually damage the engine of it. So you let the Shreks aim and get in there, get a shot in. Then we get the snare in. So then we'll we give it a damage engine. And then, like so we just keep reason and repeating. Use the squad behind green cover so the T-34 can't hit us and just keep using the Shreks in the rear to take the unit down. Now that T-34 is useless, so we can probably just use another snare to finish it off, uh, like so. And there you go, that's how you take out T-34. So, for a build order using Panzer Fusiliers, I'd recommend three Panzer Fusiliers squads with the G-43 upgrade, one Panzer Fusilier with the Shrek upgrade, and then a machine gun or a Gettenwerfer um, to support this build. I, I, overall, this would be a nice, solid infantry build. However, um, this is if you can surpass the early game. Maybe in the future it'd probably be a good idea to maybe mix in maybe a one Volk screen in a squad or two in the early game to give your plans of so you know, to give your early game a bit more of a punch. But if you feel like you're confident enough, this seems like a good build because late game, mid to late game, your plans of useless will shine more so than Volks Grenadiers because they're just so much better. You know, they have that extra man, the G43's wreck face, and um, you know, being able to have double shreks on a squad is very nice. And that means you, you know, if you get double Shreks on your Panzer Fusiliers, you wouldn't have to put a Shrek on your Stern Pioneer. And then that Stern Pioneer could upgrade to a Sweeper, which would obviously help you clear mines and also increase the repair speed of uh, that unit to repair maybe your Tiger Tank later down the line. So now, guys, I'll show you how to use the Panzer Fusilier Flare ability correctly, as well as using the Smoke Bomb ability to help you attack a position. So first things first, we know the enemy is in this facility, so we need down the site of this area before we push in to know where he's set up. So okay, let's drop a flare ability down here with this Panzer Fusilier there. that's Veteran C1. You have to be Veteran C1 to drop the flare ability. Now the flares are in the sky. We now see he's got Maxim set up here, so let's drop these smoke bombs about here, like so. And then we're going to push in. Now the enemy Maxims can't see us, so we can get in there nice and close. And then he, he might see this and, and pack up, but if he's packing up, he's not going to be set up to, you know, to be able to deal with it. So we can push in, get behind his lines, and now we've just got grenades on him, for instance, as well. And just clean up his defensive line really easy, like so. Ta-da! Let's, for instance, say this T-34 tank was chasing my Panzer IV. So if we did um, selection owner enemy, he'll open up on me. So I would want to pull back and then I could just drop off smoke quickly. He would try and chase, I'd keep pulling back. And this would stop him getting the second shot off. And maybe I could reverse back into, you know, fast enough to avoid getting shot by the thing. So using smoke bombs to protect retreating armor and infantry can be very effective. Okay, now I'll try and uh, show you guys the, um, the improved command tiger ability to improve nearby infantry. Uh, this also ability acts uh, to improve also vehicles as well. So we'll, we'll, what I'll we'll do is I'll show you guys with the ability off. So we'll have these two conscripts fight these two Volks Grenadiers, uh, like so. And you should see the conscripts should win this engagement. Both squads here are both in neutral cover, so no one, no, neither squad here is gaining an advantage. They're about medium a distance away from each other. 
and you can see that conscripts are winning this fairly comfortably. Okay, now we're going to repeat that engagement, but this time we're going to pop on the improved command tiger ability. So now this this ability costs 50 munitions, and it takes a minute to call it down. So we'll pop that ability now. So now you should see that the Volks Grenadiers should now win this engagement because they take less damage now. And I believe they are also increasing. Click on the squad. It says over here, the command cycle is improving their performance and resilience of nearby squad to vehicles. So they're actually increasing their damage output as well, I believe. As well as, um, you know, being less active, you know, less chance to receive uh, fire. But you can see here that the Volks have done a lot better this time round by having that ability. There's six men left this time round against the Conscripts five. And it appears to be this time round that the Volks Grenadiers have won the engagement. However, I want to remind you guys that if you do activate this ability on the Command Tiger, it will reduce the Tiger's combat effectiveness. Okay guys, I just want to quickly just show you the range of this ability. So you improve Command Tiger activated. You can see that it's around about this circle. About this about distance. Around the Tiger. It grants the ability active on friendly troops. You have to be roughly around the, this far away from the Tiger to benefit from this ability. So guys, I've just been testing this and it appears to be that the activating the ability on the Command Tiger doesn't actually really reduce its combat effectiveness that much once you get to version C5, as um, you will now witness. So here is the ability activated. The Tiger has hit every shot so far. Not missed once. Okay. So guys, now I'm gonna show you the difference between a Panzer IV without the Command Tiger's ability and a, and a Panzer IV on the Command Tiger's ability. Um, so here is a Panzer IV, an OKW Panzer IV versus a T-34 standard. Um, selection, owner, enemy. Now let's watch what happens when we activate the Command Tiger's ability. The Panzer IV should increase its firing rate considerably, um, as you'll now witness. So let's do selection, owner, enemy, activate the ability. So to pay attention to this, you'll see that the Panzer IV and the T-34 normally fire at the same rate. A standard, but you can see the Panzer IV now with this ability is firing a lot faster. Look, it's already brought, de brought down that T-34 incredibly quickly. But basically, it feels like it's, it, you know, personally, it, uh, don't quote me on this, but it looks like the speed of the, the gun has been increased by uh, at least a half. So it will fire probably two rounds in the space of where a T-34 can fire only one. Okay, or maybe it's something along the lines of when the OKW Panzer IV can fire three rounds in the time that the T-34 can fire two rounds, which is very significant. So it's a very good ability to activate on armor for sure. So in summary, everybody, I would highly recommend um, if you have the spare munitions available, always activate the uh, improved Command Tiger ability to help you in nearby infantry and vehicles in a fight if you can. Um, as that will probably turn the tide of the fight in your favour. Uh, and it doesn't appear to really hamper the Tiger's actual uh, combat ability that much at any rate. Um, I haven't done some serious testing on it, but we have done a little bit of testing with it today. And I honestly think that it's not, it's not really noticeable, to be honest. If anything, it might be a little bit worse against infantry. Um, but it seems to be still incredibly accurate. You know, we've, we fired the t this Tiger against two T-34s. Uh, four times over, and it, the Tiger with on the ability and off the ability nailed every shot of Veteran C5. Um, so there you have it. That was my test results. Yours might show different, but that's what I have to show you today. Yeah, hope you guys found this uh, new Commander video interesting. Um, I'm probably going to be making more Commander videos on all the new Commanders that have, that have come out just recently. And um, 
maybe down the line as well, I'll try and make some guides on how to counter said new commanders as well. So the next one we'll do is probably going to be um, Austere Commander. And then we'll go through all the allied ones. Hey guys, thank you for watching that video. If you want more content, be sure to check out the link here and over here. If you want to subscribe, click on the button down here. And be sure to click on the notification bell down there somewhere so you're notified whenever I post new YouTube content. Uh, if you want to watch me on Twitch as well, it's twitch.tv slash helpinghands where you can ask me questions in real time. And as always, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.